giddy aunt. You know, I've met your aunt. She isn't even that giddy. Do you need a hand? Shockingly, I don't need the help of a Scottish Highlander when fixing a washing machine. You really forget that we're all just actors here, don't you? So you can help? Uh, no, no, not in any way. But then bugger off! Why don't you just buzz it with your sonic screwdriver? Because, unlike my modern replacements, I'm not desperate. You look pretty desperate to me. But you know what? I will use my sonic screwdriver. Yes, a bloody good idea. Oh, you fucking bastard! <laughs> That's what I thought. Hang on. That doesn't look like clothing. of a single, solitary reason why you're even using my washing machine to begin with, let alone leaving your silly sonic device in the pocket. And ever since Russell fixed the entirety of Doctor Who Road, not only have you gotten your own washing machine so you can do your own stupid washing, which you will boss that again, but you also have an entire floor all to yourself. You don't have to see me in any way and you're not even listening to me are you <laughs> no are we done not until you've learnt your lesson uh, now so i've prepared some detailed instructions for you on how to use the washing machine so if you were to have questions such as hmm should i put my fucking sonic in there you simply refer to the instructions and oh, you'll see a little picture of me there with a caption that reads over my dead body What was that? Short ass? Um... Were you always this tall? Only when the joke demands it. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, yeah, hi, Jamie McClemon. Um, were you using a regular screwdriver to fix your sonic one? I hate this place. Uh, Pertwee! You forgot your name! Oh great, it's spreading. You are the doctor! You will be exterminated! Jesus! Chris! Is that you, old chap? See the barriers between our worlds have broken down? Even faster than anticipated. My Dalek scientists estimate that a full invasion is within reach. Oh, that is music to my ears, Dave. I have told you, if this alliance is to work, then you must refrain from calling me Dave. And I've told you, that I can wipe your entire fleet out with a single sentence. So shut the fuck up, Dave. If you have this power, why not use it? If I held such power within my palm, I would wipe my enemies out without question. Are you perhaps fearful of the consequences? No. See, unlike you, with your petty emotions driving every action, I have a plan. And the final score to settle.
cleaning your bedroom again? Because you love me. I do. I say. Oh, get a room. I already have one. He's cleaning it. Do you still need this? That can be thrown into the Medusa casket. What? He means this. I see. <laughs> what are you writing, old chap? My memoirs, as well as my will. With all my fellow doctor actors going missing, I fear the worst for my life. There are dark days ahead for all of us. And our futures are... uncertain. Didn't this used to be a comedy series? What do you give me? I say I fear for my life, and you immediately respond with, What do I get when you bite it? I say! Yes, bang on. I'll tell you what you get! You will be exterminated! Well, I wouldn't go that far. In the name of Teddy Malai! You are the doctor! Well, of course I am. And who might you be? The cleaner? A pepper pot? Barnaby Edwards? I am your sworn enemy! John Nathan Turner then! Oh crap! Tom! Everyone get down! You better hurry along with that will. <laughs> Holy son of a I can't. No. You've been there, done that. No, definitely not. Uh, grandfather, you've read all those books at least a hundred times each. Why don't I request to Moffat that he gets us some new ones? You're talking about the man who once made me say, aren't all women made of glass? <sighs> Shockingly, I don't think that maniac holds me in high regard. <coughs> ah, sod it. I'll just read the backs of the DVDs. <laughs> Susan Foreman is a mystery to the teachers Ian Chesterton and Barbara Wright. Seemingly knowing more than she should about the past and the future. Hmm. Did you read the sign? Yeah, yeah, I did. Isn't it weird that we all have the same handwriting? It's so kooky. Yoink! Thank you. Bye. Bye. Share with your fellow Time Lord. Give me at least... No, no, no. Okay, um, so this'll be why you've been so quiet recently. Yeah. I've been... Going bananas. No! You don't happen to have any bananas, do you? It, no. No. Ah, oh, bugger. The second Moffat got in charge of this road again, he got rid of all bananas. All of them. Every single one. Can you believe that? Really knows where you hit you where it hurts. Well, at least he can't watch us anymore. Well, that raises horrible implications about my bedroom. Well, hang on, you were head right before him. Don't worry, I'm gay, so I wasn't looking at you. Oh, so that totally justifies it, does it? This is exactly why I work alone. Work on what? Well, it's sort of hard to explain. 
And by hard, I mean boring. So I've condensed Doctor Who Road phases one to five into this. Catch. Got the idea from that master debacle we had last week. Master debacle. <laughs> it's a good word, that. Last week? Ooh, feels like months ago. Oh, shut up and open the watch. Leaving Doctor Who Road. Kneel before your writer. I said, kneel. I mean, at least Moffat was a verbally awesome guy. He stood. Oh, Chris. Imagine all that information, all that knowledge, put it in physical form, chuck it on a wall, and that's what that was. My life. My history in Doctor Who Road. But why? I wanted to know the future. Not just any future. A very particular future. Our future. And to do that, I had to analyse the past. But not just any past. Mine and Moffat's. And did it work? Fuck no! A total waste of time. But that's the idea. Oh, diversion, eh? Oh, that's a great idea! Okay, um, what's the next stage of the plan? Oh, I know! We can sneak in and take away the writer's pen! Or we wait until the next villain enters Doctor Who Road and then turn them against each other! And, uh, you alright? Alright? Or oh, one more than alright? <laughs> <laughs> I'm fantastic! Oh! You like my plan? Oh, fuck no. <laughs> They're all crap. Here's my plan. We're gonna throw a party! What? I believe that Moffat just wants chaos. That's why he keeps sending in all these villains. So we are gonna be normal. So we're fighting chaos with mundanity. Cool! But why is it my party? Are you calling me mundane? No, no, I would never. I'm calling your era mundane, but it can't be mine. Because you throwing a party would be new and weird? Exactly. Plus, it gets all remaining doctors in one safe location. Because I'm getting sick of this asshole stealing all my bankable talent. I just want to be rich with all the Disney money. Is that too much to ask? Russell, Russell, focus here. How can I? My life has been ripped away by that prick. And it turns out there are parallel Doctor Who roads, like the one you came from. Is my life a lie? Oi! There's something on your back. Oh, get it off, get it off, get it off, get it off, get it off. Yep, yeah, that'll oh keep me busy God. for a bit. Oh. <sighs> it is pretty crazy though. All these doctors gone. So many missing. You have no idea. Well, I'm not letting any more be taken, that's for damn sure. We're gonna work together, we're gonna be the dream team. Hmm. Who else you got in this team? No one. Exterminate! Oh, for God, another one! Another, another one? one? Oh, crap! I'm out! Two doctors at once! I will be the greatest Dalek of all! Yeah, good for you! I'm sure your Mr. Master Daddy Davros will give you an OBE. Silence! Got him. You will be exterminated! Wait, wait! Before dying, do you know what happens when you put two identical sonic devices against each other? Oh, oh yes! I Yes, you must know. You've got to find out. Your Mr. Master will be very proud. It's catching on. You will tell me, Obey. What? Do you not know? Me neither. Let's find out. Come on! Doctor's not getting Well, fucking door stop. 
know this is high stakes and everything, but I've got to know. Did you just quote Tennant? <laughs> no, I quoted Russell. And they love you for it. <laughs> now, do as I say and... Everybody get down. Immediately. You are. Oh, fuck! And now to detonate. Don't detonate yet. Fine. Back up, Dalek. You follow my orders and you're gonna be turned into Dalek soon. Did we get it, Professor? The bomb has been planted, but we're not in Boomtown yet. Oh, that's a very nice reference. Thank you. Oh, shut up, you lot. Don't you tell Centenary Ice to shine. Right then, Mr. Dalek. You're gonna tell me what you're up to. Incorrect. Jodie Time Lord, yeah. Dalek, Dalek, no. What? <gasps> can't you do it? <gasps> Daleks can't answer simple questions? Are all Daleks this stupid or is it just you? Daleks are not stupid. We are the masters of the universe. And yet you refuse to answer a very simple question. And I mean, if you can't do that, what are you good for, Dalek? Hey, what's the point in you? you know, forget this, forget it. McCoy! Wait. I shall answer your questions. Atta boy. Now, who sent you? Davros and a third party. Oh, well, I wonder who that could be. Oh, speaking of, did you get Geordie's invite? I did, but there was no place to put my dietary requirements. Oh, um, you vegan or something? No, but others might be. You know, it is very inconsiderate of Geordie not to put an option for others. Oh, fucking well. Okay, next question. What is your goal? What is your prime directive, as I'm sure you'd say? To wreak havoc and to exterminate all prime targets. And... Just, just to clarify, who is that? <laughs> fuck! McCoy? What the fuck? It wasn't me. No, Ace, not me. Shit. The TARDIS has been stolen. That was the second time I met Madame Nostradamus. So the trick is, when playing the spoons, is first of all not get lost in your beautiful reflection. I wouldn't exactly call this place fully stocked. I mean, look at this. That's a disgrace. Beyond the mark, the empty space. It's a good song. It's the, the party's in full swing. Although, you now spouse. Don't focus on that. Just, you know, do what I do. Pretend to have fun. <laughs> like this. Do, 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 do. See, I'm having fun already. Oh! Free drink! <laughs> non alcoholic as well. Keeping this party nice and boring. Wait, hang on. Is this, like, all of this what you were doing at the Series 12 party? You know what? I actually wasn't. That's the one rare occasion where I didn't have to fake it. I was literally jumping for joy that day. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that was weird. We, we all just sort of watched you do it. We all thought you were high. High on life, Jody. High on life. I don't know what this is. I think Ribena. Hello, Mr. Capaldi. Yes, you're on the list. Welcome, welcome to the party. Uh, can I take your coat and or virginity? Oh, they'll say yes one of these times. What the fuck happened to him? You didn't see. It was broadcast everywhere. How? I cut myself off. Tell me. He was forcibly aged. Benton over at unit did a cheeky scan of him to see how old he is now. And? Over 2,000 years. You know, Capaldi never gets a break in these things, you know what I mean? I mean, he either goes missing in my world, or this here. Like you said, let's not focus on that. 
Look, all doctors are present and accounted for in one safe and boring location. So, uh, what do we do now? Go out and hunt some Daleks? Fucking get them. Fucking hell, have you got a death wish? No, no, just hungry for blood. You what? Oh, I'm only joking. Oh, hardy <laughs> fucking hard. No, we let the craziness come to us. Wait, no, hang on. So, basically, we've just given Moffat and the Daleks a big old target, laid ourselves on top of it, and, like, so I thought we were trying to keep everyone safe. Oh, come on. With Moffat in charge, the idea of a safe space is just pure fantasy. Come on, we got to keep this party as bland as possible. You sure you're going to manage all this social interaction? Shouldn't I be asking you that? Fair point. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants a Harvey Waldanger? Oi, no alcohol. Best to stick to water, you know. My flat, my rules. Just saying. Uh, uh, okay. Apologies. So me and Sarah were running around with our nose plugs on, going, where's the pool, where's the pool? When finally the lifeguard comes over and tells us the pool was abstract. I'm noticing a distinct lack of laughter. Okay, you clearly stole that story from Tennant. You're not fooling anyone, mate. He stole that story from me. He knew what he was doing. Now the key to the perfect cocktail, according to bloody Jody, is no alcohol, so simply put water in a glass, stir three times, very important, and then you do this. Oh, you, oh, come on! This is homeless chic, you can't get this just anywhere. I mean, you, you could just wear, like, other clothes. Other clothes? Right all together now, why didn't Ace get the invite? No, but seriously, Whitaker, what the fuck? Why didn't Ace get an invite? Why didn't any of the companions get an invite? The companions are a vital part of the show. Are you companion phobic? I was in the Hobbit, you know. This pie is so boring. Mission accomplished. <laughs> yes, it is. I bet Moffat is either really confused or is fucking furious. <laughs> I'll take either. Don't be too happy about it. I mean, Moffat still has an army of Daleks that he's very happy to use to get rid of any doctor he wants. <clears throat> you know, I think I'm just used to the danger at this point. Are you drunk? No, you're northern. Hello, Doctor Who Road. Ugh, not this prick again. Someone changed the channel. On it. Hiya, Daphros. This is so cool. I've always wanted to sing with Daphros. Been there. Done that. It's them bloody aliens again. Silence. Oi, dickhead. Where's Moffa? I don't want to talk to his henchmen. I said, be silent. Oh, someone walk up on the wrong side of the saucer. Shoes, you do. Oh, forget the monologue. Daleks, attack. Bloody hell! <laughs> 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 My Dalek Healer's designs were significantly better than this shit! Hold me when you get there! Crap! Crap! Come on! It's probably for the best. Here we go. Rolls? You didn't think I'd be gone forever, did ya? Same could be said for me. Don't you think? The evil man comes down from his ivory tower. Hmm? An unwise move, dear boy. Much better. Hello, Chris. Heard about the party? Can't say I'm not a little bit offended about the lack of an invite. With me being your oldest friend. It's not even close. Yes, hello, Rose. Bit pissed you're even here. Gonna ignore that for now, because you're kind of spoiling my fucking moment. Speaking of... Hey, Chris! 
You enjoying that drink? I made it myself, and then got Captain Jack to put it in pure view, oh. knowing you couldn't oh. resist. Chris, bye bye. <laughs> Hold on, my boy. <sighs> Let's take a little trip, shall we, shall we, shall we? to stop trying to save the day. I mean, it worked with the old lot, sure, but this new bunch, I've got to say, I'm not convinced. Is that why you got rid of them? God, no. I may be evil. Sure. But I'm not petty. So, where are they then? figure a way out, I promise you, Hannah. If for no other reason than to swap you for Sailor. <laughs> no offence. Oh, Lila! Good to see you, Liz. Matches! Perhaps we yes, can burn yes. through and... Oh, come on! Oh. Okay, I'm, I am. I'm sorry. I didn't mean for this to happen. This is not the first prison I've been locked up in. We're going to be out of here in no time. There was the Pandorica, you know. If anything changes, let me know. Oh, shit. Prison. Just plain old prison. I mean, it seems a bit tame for you, don't you think? I thought you wanted chaos. You really don't know me very well, do you? I mean, we've known each other since 2004. 2004? Can't help but notice they all have their friends with them. Oh! Right. Rose! She'll wake up soon enough. I'm not heartless. And like you, and all of your merry band of pricks sending me into the void. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I need to repeat. I was... I was there. Come to think of it. You gonna explain how you got here? Or where you've been? Fuck no. Yeah, of course not. Why would you? <laughs> oh dear, so come on then. All this effort, all this planning. And for what? For victory, Sonsa, Sonsa. Hey, Chris, did you just quote one of my episodes? Ah, also, look, new suit. Oh, shut the fuck up. Thanks. I have wanted what I've always wanted. It's never changed. All lost doctors dead. You ruling over the rest? Am I on the right lines here? Uh, I mean, yes and no. Oh, Christ, how many have tried that? <laughs> Chibnall, uh, the Joker, Cybermen. The list is truly. Endless. All right, stop the monologue. Just tell me. Silence, Chris. I want silence to fall. And I am so close. I'll be honest, I wouldn't bother. It didn't turn out very satisfying in the show. It's true. Smith, shut the fuck up. How? Oh, come on, think about it. I've not exactly been playing coy. We've had Autons and Captain Jack. Then we had the Cybermen. Then the Master. And now the Daleks with Davros. What's the logical next step? The reality. 